distance far from a drive in the park. For the professionals, it's a way of life. Then right five. Into left four, into right four. novice the ultimate test of character that is if you take it too seriously no no yes no no yes, i know we'll do very well we'll search through the pack there today <laughs> everyone seems to think we're just going to sort of wander around behind everyone different plans from that well, that's right you know you and i know better than that exactly right two veterans of motorsport that's right it's been a very thorough preparation and it's all come together very well it all has the 64 cars converged in canberra's city center before the start of the asanda rally Favourites for the event were Toyota pilot Neil Bates and South Australian hotshot Ed Ordinsky. Rallying, I think, is different to every other form of motorsport in that it's just you in the car against the clock by yourself on the road. And, you know, people either love it or they're not interested. And for those of us in the sport, we just like that flowing through between the trees on the gravel surfaces. And uh, it's just fantastic. But for us, just to finish the day would be an accomplishment. OK, there's a pretty sharp left-hander coming up. It's a full one. Oh, that'll give the panel beater something to do tonight. Our rookie rocket was a 1300cc front wheel drive to Hatsu Charade. Compared to the big factory teams, our budget was just a drop in the bucket. But what we lacked in bucks, we made up with bravado. How are you finding the front wheel drive? Oh, it's okay. It's a front wheel drive and it's a problem. <laughs> It's more fun with the sharper corners, isn't it? Yeah, not wrong. Another sharp right here going back up there. Oops. <laughs> well, the boy's doing OK so far. No, he's doing real well. Real well. Admittedly, there were very few skills displayed in our charade. No such luxury for the pros. With little talent and reaching speeds of up to 170 kilometres per hour, there were sure to be some nervous moments. We are. Oh, yes, Stephen, you've just saved my life. <laughs> we'll go straight over there. I thought we were heading to the snowy mountains for a second. While we had time to enjoy the scenery, the hotshots were getting the best out of nature's backyard. Twelve hours ago, we weren't quite sure what to expect. Steve, how are you feeling? Pretty good, actually. I think it's been a good day. We, we're both still here and the car's still here, so you have to be happy with that. Mate, a lot of people didn't uh, didn't think that we'd make it through the first day. We've proved a few people wrong. That's right. We're here tonight, and uh, the boys are going to have a going like a rocket tonight, and we'll be out there tomorrow early. Mate, the boys are pretty proud of us, actually. We haven't, uh, haven't given them too much work tonight. <laughs> That's not the same story they told me. <laughs> day two, and we had big plans, but so too did some of the other hopefuls. Two-time national champion Rob Herridge had problems with his Subaru Liberty on the Friday and spent Saturday making up lost time. While most were struggling, the battle for the lead increased. The locals had come out to pledge their support. But it wasn't only the ruse that were running scared. Somehow we'd avoided any major dramas, but the conditions were about to change. Yeah, there's uh, a little saying in rallying, less haste, more speed, when it's slippery. It's Rallying's got all conditions in it and you have to cope with it all. The odds were definitely stacked against our rookie combination. Then at 90 kilometres per hour... There's not yeah. much traction here. Oh, we're in trouble here. Oh. 
bit slippery than we thought, mate. <laughs> it all happened pretty quickly, mate. That's right. Uh, I went mean, to a sail along the road. I think it would have gone okay. Next minute, I was pulling leaves out of the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was stacked against us. The odds weren't in our favour. That's right. Uh, the big fella upstairs, the heavens opened up there, and uh, as soon as the rain started, I knew I was in trouble. We collected three stumps and a tree and landed in a gully. There was little body damage, but a broken diff and drivetrain forced an early retirement. I got it in, I can't get it out. <laughs> After three days and over 300 kilometres, Ordinsky took line honours. Second, the bait Salika, which was enough to clinch the national title. And while the Champus was flowing, all we were concerned with was finding our way out of the forest. What an ending to the 